everybody. So today's video I'm going to be showing you how I have been styling my hair. I've been round brushing a little bit more than usual. I did go a little bit shorter in the bag and it's just a tiny bit more stacked so it's not as heavy on the neck area. So I've been using the round brush since a flat iron is pretty hard to use on shorter hair. I've been using a flat iron around the front parts of my hair since my layers are a little bit longer there. But I just wanted to update you guys since I've been doing it different and I have been loving the short hair. I have no idea if I'm ever going to really grow it out anytime soon. I'm really trying to grow out my layers right now because from going from brunette to blonde I did have some damage and breakage. So my layers are cut pretty short just so everything blended a little bit better with the breakage basically. So what I'm trying to do right now is just grow my layers to meet closer to my ends. Not so it's all one length but closer than it is right now. So if you want to see how I've been styling my hair then just keep watching this video. Thank so I'm still working on the lighting in the new house, so I do apologize. I know that it's like really bright over here and not so much over here, but I'm still working on the lighting, so just bear with me on that. First thing, obviously, is your blow dryer, and mine is on this stand here. See the base of it there? And then here is the blow dryer part, and this does move. And my blow dryer, it's a professional blow dryer, and on the box, this part, like the neck part of the blow dryer was straight and mine is a bit tapered off so it's a little bit bigger here at the base and then it goes smaller at the head. So my dad did tape it to this for me so I can't really take it off but this is how I've been blow drying my hair anyway. So you're not going to see the blow dryer in the video but trust me I'm using the blow dryer to round brush my hair. And then obviously you are going to need your round brush. Mine is just this big. I think I would say it's like an inch and a half, around an inch, inch and a half mark. And then you, I always use my Kenra Platinum blow dry spray before I blow dry. My Sexy Hair, Style Sexy Hair 450 Protect Thermal Protectant Spray. Obviously I am using a flat iron, so this is my GHD and it's part of the candy collection. You're also going to need a brush, some clips, and I'm just using these crocodile clips. And to finish everything off, I like the Kenra Shine Spray, the Kenra Smooth Anti-Frizz Oil, and then lastly, I like to use a hairspray just really lightly, and this is the Healthy Sexy Hair Soy Touchable Hairspray. So let's just get started. First thing, like I said, I like to use my Kenra Platinum Blow Dry Spray. So I just spray this all over. And this does cut dry time down. I want to say in half, but by quite a bit, and it's also good, it's a heat protectant, and if you're blow drying your hair, you want it to get dry as fast as possible without frying it off. And I don't suction off when I round brush, just because with this blow dryer, you can like, it's right here, it kind of blows everywhere, and it's usually not what I like. I really do like my air to be really directed I guess you could say and the attachment I have for my blow dryer the I don't know how else to explain it other than like it directs heat so it's sort of like tapered and it's has like a line in it I don't even know where mine is right now the thing that come put the thing that you put on the end of your blow dryer to direct heat I don't even really like to use that and I almost can't with the way it's set up right now and that's fine just my hair is already I would say like 75% dry so I only need to blow out the air a little bit and then brown brushing only takes a few minutes so let's just jump right into it. So before I turn my blow dryer on I'm going to be facing the other way because I mostly just brown brush the back of my hair. I'm not sectioning off like I said and I all I have to do, let me just turn, is I just put the hair in it and then as I'm blow drying I just kind of roll it in my hand like this. And then I'll just move on to another section and then just kind of roll it down and I just keep doing this the whole time. So I am going to turn the blow dryer on and I'm going to put it on mute so it's not so loud.
Now that it's pretty much dry, I think sometimes I have to go in and blow dry just a little bit more. Just let my hair cool down and then you can sort of feel if it's damp or not. I'll show you the back. It is just a nice rounded look. It's not super sleek, which I'm not a fan of super straight hair. I like it messy. And you can see probably from the side that it sort of comes in. So a little bit tighter, closer to the neck area. And that's because the hair right there is a little shorter, so it lays closer. And then this, you get a little bit more volume out of. I think my bangs are still damp, so I am gonna blow dry those really quick. And I did forget to mention, I'm gonna leave the website where I got the blow dry stand from and I also used a promotion code and it might be different now but all you have to do when shopping online is type in where you're shopping at and then type in promotion code right after and just type it into Google and usually you can get either free shipping or a certain percentage off or even $10 off if you spend like so much money so after shipping and everything mine was only like 12 something dollars so super cheap and you can probably find a promotion code pretty similar to what I had so I'm gonna leave the link down below to the website where I got it the next thing I'm going to do is just brush through my hair and you do want to make sure your hair is fully dry before using a flat iron on it because it's not doing any good to start flat ironing damp or even slightly damp hair. It does absolutely nothing and I'm going to just use my heat protectant spray. I just want to brush that through. And now with the flat iron, I'm only going to focus on the front part of my hair and just making that look a little bit more styled. So I don't have to do anything to the back. I mean, if you see some hairs, like once your hair is styled, that need to be flat ironed, go ahead and just do that. So I'm just going to section my hair like I usually would, just like I said, ignoring the back. Because I have shorter hairs, I have to clip this out of the way. And I do like my hair to be slightly turned out, so I'm going to take my flat iron. And I kind of go flat and then flick out just the ends. I'm going to do that again, and I just go straight and then flick out the ends, and I kind of just run my fingers through it so it's not so perfect. So this part's really not any different than my last How I Style My Hair video, but I did want to update it since I got the blow dry stand and had been brown brushing my hair a little bit more, and since I did go shorter, it's a little bit different. And I still do about five sections. So second layer, you just want to do the same thing. Just kind of flick out the ends. And the reason I like this is since I do have fine hair and so many short layers, it makes my hair closer to my face and by my ears look super, super thin. So what I like to do is make it look thicker. And I think by either curling it or flipping it out, it does give a little bit more volume at the sides of my face. So that is why I've been liking doing that. And for anybody who watched my videos and didn't see my last video, I did move and that's why my background does look different. And that's why I'm also working on the lighting. I think it's going to take some time. I actually think I need to get like a softbox light or something. Just because I'm right next to the window. So I get really good lighting on the one side. And then right now I actually have my shears closed just to make it so it's not even that bright. <laughs> just because the other side is pretty dull looking. Looking past the camera, it is because the mirror's behind the camera. And then for like the last two layers, since I have the shorter layers there, I only like to smooth those out. And all I have to really do is just kinda bend under the ends. Cause my hair is pretty smooth on top. I'm going to take my Kendra Smooth Anti-Frizz Oil, just put a little bit in my hand, and then just run it through my bang area to smooth those out, and then lightly go over my part to make sure that the flyaways are down, Then whatever's left over I just kind of like to put towards the front like usual, just kind of smooth those hairs out. I'm going to be using my Kendra Shine Spray just to give it a little bit of shine, just focusing on the ends. And then lightly mist my hair with my So I Touchable hairspray. Kind of just go along the part and then through the bang area. 
nothing too crazy. And I'm gonna do a 360 spin just so you guys can see a little bit better. So I'm gonna turn this way and you can probably see that the front is slightly longer than the back and then this kind of has volume through the crown and then it kind of tapers down in. So that is my updated high been Hold on. So that's my updated hair tutorial on how I've been styling my hair when I do style my hair. I still do the every other day wash, so sometimes on the second day I just have to touch up a few spots. I hear ya. Give, oh, give mommy a minute. Please, please give mommy a minute. I'm almost done. Be nice. So I think that's my cue to go. My dogs have to go outside and I do have to head to work. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you guys have any requests, please leave those in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I hope you all have an awesome day. Bye.